So this whole effort is based on what happened to me a few weeks ago. I was flying back and uh, from Oregon and I noticed my secondary vacuum gauge failed and the secondary attitude indicator was giving me the gyro problem. Now this is the only vacuum instrument in the entire plane. I've got an Aspen uh, backed up by all of the standard six-pack instruments still and I started looking at what could I do to replace this mess with an all-electric solution. It turns out that would have required upgrading to the Aspen Pro Max from the Aspen Pro 2000 I have as it was only STC'd for a standalone attitude indicator backup, mechanically backed up <laughs> vacuum and to replace it with like a Garmin G5 or um, some of the other solutions was kind of a regulatory nightmare. Technically it would have been a better solution. I think what I'm going to do is end up pulling out this KX55, putting in a more modern radio, pulling this old indicator which is only tied into it out and uh, install a backup there like the AV30 when it's certified and still retain this gyro uh, as a backup until I do something better like a Dynan HDX and clean this whole mess up. So what happened? I haven't replaced the vacuum pump on this plane ever. I've only had it a few years and uh, it's a pretty common failure. This is the old one. You can see it sheared off on this coupling, which is what it's designed to do to break off and shear uh, before it jams and breaks up because it can damage the accessory case. It's pretty easy to get off. Fortunately, there's um, the top two nuts are pretty easy to access. The bottom two are a notorious pain in the butt, but there is small special purpose wrenches like this to be able to at least get those nuts started. But as you can see from the replacement, there's a problem. And the problem is getting the nuts started. The washers are pretty easy to hang off. And it's a real problem if you can see it, <laughs> getting at those bottom two. There's stuff in the way. Even removing this oil filter wouldn't help. So I gave up on that. So after struggling with it for a while, asking the ANP who's gonna sign it off what he did, he said, uh, you know, everyone has their own favorite techniques, hemostats, forceps. And I remembered something I did in building and restoring Porsche 911s for these little out of the way nut starters. This is just a little piece of aluminum from Lowe's. It's got a quarter inch by 20 pitch thread screw in with fine JB weld and then cut off and made flat and you can then insert install the uh, nut and hopefully get it started here and I'll show you that on one of the top easy to get at components you really just want to hang the washers and then you insert this in just to get it started and I'm trying to do this with one hand is a pain in the butt but it should be enough. And once it's started, you can basically then just turn it out a little bit and maybe I need a little washer there. And so that'll be good. And the rest of it should be pretty easy. This should be able to be threaded on without much effort from now on. 